That's what I notice on my way out. Yep. And uh, even if somebody is in here, it's yeah. publicly accessible. You can't stop them from recording. You'd have to create privacy for that person. That's the way the law works. Recording? Yeah. I don't want to be recorded, please. Um, what, what goes on in this office? Though? I don't want to be recorded, please. But you're a public servant. It's a constitutionally protected activity. Uh, I have official business, and that's taking photos. Newspaper, but... Okay, to protect our client's privacy from camera or cell phone, or recording allowed, let me know. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a copy of that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this is not... It's probably... What do you do? 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 Video recording in public. Here. You can't be up here video recording. Why not? This is not publicly accessible? Right. You... Am I being recorded right now? Yeah. Okay, let's go get my manager. You don't have my permission to use my face. Can I have it? Absolutely not. Okay, well, I don't need it. Listen, y'all, these kids want to act up in school, want to go to school and embarrass you, want to make like they got no home training. So I told my son, don't go to school master no more. I take care of you, son. I give you anything you want. I discipline you. But you're going to bash me like this? No, so now I'm going to cut his hair. Oh, my God, that's going to be a thing. Hey, do me a favor. Wait, guys. Now I saw you were in a restricted area. Now I want your ID on the field. You're not getting it. Don't oh, embarrass me. I told you, don't embarrass me. No. Down here today in Cortland County at the Cortland County Courthouse and clerk's office here, about to perform a First Amendment audit and... <laughs> civil rights investigation it is june 28th and uh the main entrance over here has construction so we're gonna have to go through the side door it looks like let's go ahead and get inside and make sure they respect our rights to video record in public authorized personnel only in that entrance Is the court clerk or uh, court clerk, um, county clerk in this building? Yes. Yes, it is. That's where I'm headed that way. Okay. Uh, are you filming by any chance? Yes. Okay, that's fine. First floor and basement are fine. Second floor and third floor are all state courts, and we have a criminal trial going yeah, on. Yeah, no problem with that. Now, filming from here to the fir first, or to the clerk? Well, we are on the first floor here, so that's fine. All right. And they are in the in the, go to the center and take a right. Gotcha. All right, you need this to go through the metal detector? Or um, just... no. It won't have to go through. But it'll have to go over there. Okay. 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 What else do you have in your back pocket? I got the United States Constitution. Okay. So, first floor is fine. Basement's good. Basement's fine. And upper two floors are all court. Yeah, so if you stay on this floor, basement is fine too. Gotcha. So, so what was the, these guys here. All right, Erie County fam, this is the third of the three county buildings where our probation went ahead and somebody called ahead, even though probation did not admit to it and will still to this day not admit to it. There is something I want to bring up about. Um, this audit and the next few audits that I've done outside of the Western District of New York. Um, I am on federal probation, so if I leave the Western District of New York, I have to write to the probation department telling them where I'm going, what I'm doing, and categorize it, and then they have to approve it. Um, being that I go out and do First Amendment audits, it was approved because it is a job, and the federal courts did rule that it is constitutionally protected activity recently and in future videos we're going to do a video about that so you guys will know a little more background but the thing I'm bringing up today uh, before we get into this specific video is that I had to write ahead to the probation department that I was doing 
First Amendment audits are in Tioga County, Tomskin County, and Cortland County. And I hit the, all three of them in one day, and I hit a few um, other municipalities along the way. It's pretty obvious, even in this building, um, this county clerk's office is going to have a sign up that we're going to get her to take down, an unconstitutional sign, which is a little victory. But you'll see that she has a pamphlet printed up about her job title and what she does already ready for me because she knew what we were coming. And uh, this county building is a little bit bigger. Um, I cut out a lot of walking through some halls. Um, the administration building is a old school and it's kind of confusing. You could definitely get lost in this building. So I cut out a lot of the walk through the halls and just put in some of the footage of interactions with people because this video probably, if I were not to cut everything out, would be about an hour and 40 minutes long at least. And uh, this county also, even though they got the memo, there's going to be a lot of rude employees in this, this audit and uh, some that pop the middle finger off and, and everything. So buckle up fan, we're going to take down some unconstitutional signs and we're going to um, get some rude interaction. Some of the rudest employees I've seen in a county building in a while, even though they knew we were coming. And uh, just before I came here, I did the audit at... Um, Dryden Town Hall, and that's after the town hall meet there, I called my probation officer and had a conversation with him. And even though he wouldn't admit that he or somebody in his department did make a phone call or call ahead and let him know we were coming, he did admit that the court staff for the uh, security, the court security, were calling ahead and tracking my progress through the day, where I was and where I was going and where I was next. So that court staff you just seen, um, as far as the security through that entrance we just passed through, they definitely knew I was coming. They were called from court building to court building and the court staff was definitely tracking us. So let's get in this film and uh, see how these people do. And like I said, there's a little bit of a disappointment as far as professionalism and rudeness in this building. So let's go ahead and get at it, fam. So one county building is calling the next county building and tell them we are in the area, guys. This was uh, after Erie County Court staff called in that uh, illegal trespass. Oh, wow. It's a shame we can't get up there. I see some of that marble stepping, but this place is pretty extravagant for sure. Got the county clerk right here. It's about 2.30, maybe a little bit after. Hello. How are you? Pretty good. Can I help you with anything or are you all set? I'm almost at it, just taking some photographs of okay. what's available here and everything okay. I can see. Do you have any questions? Let us know. Sure. Is the county clerk here? The, she is. Which, I can see if she's which one? Oh, yeah. You want me to see Yeah, if, but if she's got a second, I can shake her hand, say hello, and get to meet her. All right. If she's got a minute, and if not, it's no see big deal. See what she's up to. Hey, you doing? County clerk? County this clerk. Elizabeth Larkin. My name is Dan. Nice we already got introduced. <laughs> yes. Nice to meet you, nice Elizabeth. To meet you. Uh, my name is Dan. I'm a journalist. I go from county building to county building. I'm probably sure you've heard of me, maybe. And uh, It's interesting because we had two women here this morning that are doing stories at county clerk's offices. Yeah? Yeah. 
So I was a, wasn't the first one here today, huh? No, no. So I did a little history on, on the courthouse and the architecture. I gave it to them. So. Oh, nice. So I can take this with me? Yes. Oh, perfect. Yes, I do that for tours for uh, um, high school students. So this is nice. our county clerk's office. Do you guys ever have policies in this clerk's office about no filming of documents? Uh, we do just because, not so much anymore, because all the books are digitized. Years ago, I'm looking for one that's sewn. <coughs> I had trouble with uh, someone, yeah, this one I could take apart, see, so that's not a problem. Um, in order, if it's a sewing book, we're going okay. going back in time. These are, we're going back in time. Uh, these are all digitized now, so nobody ever pulls them out. So what happens when you yes. get a book? It's, it's more about people handling the books right. than the actual photos. No, he was pushing down because oh. it was, and so you can see yeah. what happens. And the threads break, but. Some counties got rules about no photography of documents because they want to get the full request fees or the public records right. fees. Well, under CPLR, county clerks are, that's one of our money making rates, 65 cents a copy or a dollar thirty minimum. But now things have changed. We're online. It's free. Yeah. So print it yourself. And when I first started out, it was a big deal bringing a camera into the records room. And yep. you go around, and it'd be the first thing I'd look for around the walls. There's no, no camera signs. And Actually, I think, I think I do have one up there. Some, some county clerks say it's because of photography, flashes, ruining paperwork. Or... Yeah. It's an old one. 2010. <laughs> but it, times have changed really since yeah. then. So um, we don't have the foot traffic we used to have. We have a, a title searcher in here that makes copies, but he also helps people search. So do you guys rent space here to a title searcher, or they? No, because we have a symbiotic relationship. He helps us, we help him, so we kind of... Like Erie County Hall has a whole section where people rent space right. and do that. And they, right. they get mad when they see me photographing the documents and uh, they try to stop me from photographing the documents. But, you know, if the public's allowed to be there, right. the public has the right, same... same uh, so all of, everything, I have a mortgages back to 1808, deeds back to 1808, so you can get them right online for free. So, yeah, that beats having to pay and saves you guys a lot of time. Yeah, in the back of that one, not all of them have them. If you ever look in the older deeds, it has chains and links. Okay. Nice. So that uh, helps you do that. But we really only, Cortland's a small county, we really only have one abstractor. So, you got an idea about how many people live in the county? Uh, just under 50,000. Just under 50,000 yeah. in Cortland? Yeah. Not a big county. It's kind of nice. Well, you get to know everybody. But um, we only have one abstract company. If somebody else wanted to uh, um, work in here, when we had the oil and gas, we used to have a lot of uh, searchers come in, but not so much anymore. How long have you been the county clerk? Uh, since 2004. 2004. Years. So, how many elections is that? Is that every four years? Every four years, yep. So I'm not running again. No, you're, this is your last year? This is it. Going to hand the torch off, huh? Handing it off. Next vote Bittersweet. Again. Yeah, it's a good job. That's cool. Well, thanks a lot. It's nice so, meeting you, and I uh, always okay. like to meet the county clerk when I come to the county office. Good. But, uh, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. And, uh, we have a beautiful courthouse. So. Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> can't get too much photographs inside the courthouse itself, but right. I guess the first yeah, floor and uh, the basement. Yeah, I trial. But, uh, Did you get your paperwork? Yeah, I got it in my okay. back pocket here. Okay. Thanks for making that up. Okay. No, uh, it's already made. I always have it. So, so any questions? What we do here? Or? No, not really. Mm -hmm.
I mean, I've been to so many county buildings, you, they kind of all do the same thing. We and do. Sometimes we the do. legislators are built a little different, whether they yeah. got a chairman, some have a um, uh, board of supervisors, board of supervisors right, and some right. have executives. Right. We and do then, have an administrator. You have an administrator? Who's, uh, appointed, not elected. Yep. You're gotcha. right. Some are charter counties, and some are, have their own government uh, under uh, county law. Yep. So you had some people, some journalists in here this morning, huh? Um, I don't know. Do they give any names or say who they were? The lady say, she said she was, I think she's uh, on summer vacation. One was a teacher. So they're just. From Montgomery County. Montgomery? She said she's a teacher and she's putting together a presentation on county court offices. Nice. Which is nice. All right, well, let's take a walk around here, get some photographs of the rest of the office, and I'll be on my way. It was okay. nice to meet you, and thanks for coming That's, out. Make sure you get the map. That's from 1839. The one that's right here on the wall? Yeah. Plastic to the wall? I had a, um, well, the title searchers sometimes use the different um, plot numbers, and of course, so, this is part of the Boston. So Cortland's an, so Cortland is a pretty square yeah, county? Yeah, it, it is. And all the towns in there are square or rectangle, right. with the exception of these two up here, huh? Yeah, pretty geometrical. And this has even been Most cut off more since... Most of all sorts of curves since, due to rivers and... Yeah, cut off more since this map. But the searchers used it, so it was a little map like this, so there was a teller at one of the banks that does murals on the side and of buildings. And she painted this on And right? she painted it. Isn't it beautiful? But it's anyway. definitely cool. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. My name is Dan. Dan. Okay. You don't have a card or anything? Um, I, sometimes I do. I don't have any on me at the moment. But um, nice it, you, if, you if you have a card, when I publish my story, I'll uh, email it to you. I gave you. It, it's all right yeah. on that card? Yep. Oh, that's no problem. I'll, I'll send it right to you. I'm sure. Uh, you hear from you know some people as well. The Woodruff files. Yeah, some counties got them where they literally like uh, yeah. you walk it through it. It used to be all up, but we've digitized things, but I still think they're neat. Well, they, yeah, click right on to the next one, huh? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it is. They're trifolded. But yeah, these were lined both walls and between all the windows when I took off. Do you, do you have all the records in this room still, or is there some like downstairs because they're digitized and they don't need to be there in a storage space? Uh, we or? have a record center that's like two blocks away. But that nobody goes to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We yeah. go there all the time. Yep. Interesting. But it's a combination between the city and the county. So all the records are here, they're either on the computer or in the books. But okay. everything's here if you, there are a few court that I would have to, but they might be in microfilm. All right, thank you very much. Pretty much everything's here. Okay. Thanks. Let's get a quick peek of the office. My office. I used to have signs, said no photography. Times are changing, guys. Making a difference out here. Natural reaction. 
or if they're aware of what we do here. Hi. How you doing? Quick question. I did notice on the doorway coming in and on that plaque, there's those pink signs that sell video recording and no due to confidentiality. Is oh, that something? Oh, oh. Are those signs that something so, that can come down or? So if some things that we do here are confidential, like divorces, I don't have a private calendar, so they would come right, right there. So if you were in here with your um, camera and someone was doing something confidential, I'd ask you to turn it the other way, just because, you know, some well, things what are... What about those signs? Are we willing to take those down today? Where's that? There's, there's one right here on this plaque. It's a pink one, and there's one on the front door coming out. This one here. Okay. Oh, right. So basically what I just said, if there's somebody here, if they're doing a... A sealed record we do we do all civil and county court so if you were charged with a, a, something with mental illness you wouldn't want the whole well I mean, that, that's probably public record you know if you get no. charged with something in the, no, no it's not no um, under so those signs those law. signs you're gonna leave out yeah it, it depends on what's going on there was nobody here when you were a video taping before so all this stuff. But if somebody was somewhere else? Well, there's one right on the main door on the way in. I actually didn't see that one because it was covered up by a sign, but this is one I noticed on my way out. Yep. And uh, even if somebody is in here, it's yeah. publicly accessible. You can't stop them from recording. You'd have to create privacy for that person. That's the way the law works. So those are kind of unconstitutional. That's the only reason I'm asking if you're willing to take those I'm down or if you're gonna stick to them. No, I got Just it, but I, I, I understand what you're saying. But then again... But even to change the wording on the sign, like... Mike. If someone's doing something, you know, to change the wording. Because right now it says, no video recording allowed in this office. Right. Which clearly isn't facts. You know what that's I mean? True. Like That's not that's the facts. True. I mean, that's... Right. Sign is technically unconstitutional. Oh. And as a public uh, elected official, you definitely swore an oath to the Constitution. So just taking those down... Definitely it's show that you're... What's that? I'm just repeating the old... How many times have I administered that old? Okay. I, I get your point. I mean, you could change the signs to say, you know, if someone's being... It, it giving out personal information, be respectful, or, you know, like, taking uh, them in I'll the back room or happened. something. We had... It was a Y.O. Uh, youthful offender. Mm -hmm. Are you videotaping that? Yeah, right now, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everything um, is for transparency in government. That's what I do. There was, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say, um, we had a reporter in here who the mother was paying the fine for her son who was a youthful offender, therefore, I, therefore the record is sealed. Um, she was at the public access computer. She didn't write about it. But she put on Facebook. So, so that's why that's actually why we have the little barricade there and move the computers over. But you have to be sensitive. I mean, there's, there's certain other things people. that are lawful. Like it would be unlawful for me to stand behind the guy on the computer over here and video record what he's doing. That would that would not be lawful. Oh really? But the video record in the room, like this thing says, no video recording. It just. I'd say video. Recording may Pers not be allowed. Personal information, no video recording, but personal information. But I can't say that either because you can videotape at the DMV and look what you put down when you go to the DMV, your driver's license, your social security Yeah, you could definitely video department. record that, but if I was catching yeah. people's personal information, there's a penal code against that. Huh? For sure. But then how do you... Is it, How is it there's no privacy in public, meaning like this is a public office, it's publicly accessible. The only way that you could say no video recording in here is if you made this restricted room. access. Yeah. And you can't do that because no. it's all public in a public area. Yeah. So there's really no way for you to, you know, enforce that sign to say the least. Like that that journalist who who was here. Yeah, I mean like 
really the county should look into redesigning the bill or like the office it's space because you're moving us downstairs so. and there you go yeah, and, the, and on the redesign there, there yeah. might be a good thing to figure out would be to figure out should we redesign the place so that we have a private area for private information because the United States Constitution, the freedom of press, literally means that nobody has expectation of privacy in public. Right? So when you're in this publicly accessible area, there's no privacy involved. You know, there's, there's nobody's got an expectation to it. So if that journalist that you talked about was here and they, they caught something, yeah. they're not actually at fault. The fault is the, per the onus is on the, you know, the person to protect their personal information and for you guys to protect, protect the, the certain, per certain right. personal yeah. information. and. Um, like, especially sense. if you guys are redesigning and, and putting a new clerk's office yeah. downstairs, there should be a section in there that right. could be blocked off and one right. person go in there and you take care of that stuff in that section, but... Um, because even so, I mean, you could have someone at the counter doing a divorce, somebody else doing a business certificate. So one is public and the other is not, but they're right next to each other. So yeah, and that's a, right. that's a design flaw, really, because, you know... Can you come to the legislature with me? <laughs> well, I go to the legislature with you? Yeah. I could. I'm going there next. I'm heading over there next, but I'm going to talk Push to you see some of the people. Tell the county clerk needs a separate window for confidential. Law. Right, and then, um, you know, what I do is I make this video and I disseminate to the public. The public's going to see it, and if they have a problem, they'll, they'll reach out to the legislator as well. Yeah. Or, you know, like if you were refusing to take down that sign, um, the people might redress their grievances to you, which is also a First Amendment protected activity That's for true. them to call up and be like, hey, well, you why are you doing that? Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to know if you put it back up right away because the people that are going to come in this building, they're going to see the video. No. Right, right. But um, no, it's, you know, rights are no, like muscles. We're out here to exercise them right. so we don't lose them. And um, just like, you guys are building a new clerk's office downstairs. Maybe that's a good concern that you guys can have a privacy window for private transactions yeah, versus, or, right. or. Like uh, going to confession. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Thank you for that. I appreciate you taking down the I'll sign, and uh, I appreciate. I'll take that one down too. I, I appreciate that, and uh, the people watching are definitely gonna appreciate that because we all gotta remember to act like Americans and be American. Because that United States Constitution is an important document. It's one of the most important documents in this world, and it keeps us safe from tyranny in, in a lot of areas. So. I appreciate that. You Thank you very much. We do pistol permits too. Did you know that? Yeah, I mean that's another thing. A private window. That's another. Now, see, that is kind of private. She's around to the right. Yeah. But yeah, privacy is on the onus is on you and the person who's yep. got private information out in public. So, yep. like, there was a Supreme Court case where a guy seen a girl in a short skirt. She was leaning over. He stuck his camera up underneath her skirt, and they sued him. Well, she lost in court because the onus is on her to keep her privates private, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it's kind of the same thing. You know, somebody's got unmentionables they don't want seen, they, they got to do that. So, you know, thank you very much for yeah. taking the sign down. Nice. I appreciate that. And, uh, You're going to bring me a car, right? Um, it's gone. It's gone. It's yeah. gone. I like that. <laughs> we like that. This is a constitution check. This is a constitutional audit. And, uh, we you guys are passing them now. Right. Thank you very much. You can take it with me. I'll take it with me. Um, okay. I, I appreciate that. And sure. the, the people watching appreciate that. And uh, yeah, it's definitely, especially if you guys are rebuilding a new design downstairs, yep. that's a, definitely a great thing to well, bring city forth. City court's going to move in here, so we're moving down. So it almost looks like probation and city court's moving all up here. City court is now across the street. Oh, okay. So the, and then all the courtrooms will be in the one building. Pro for probation, they're on they're this getting, floor getting, and downstairs. Looks like there's a lot of different probation offices. Yeah. There's one up here, two or three yep. downstairs. Yep. And there's one that uh, looks like it closed probably where you guys are going. The uh, space probably right, right directly right below. below. That's where we're going, yeah, yeah. there's nothing in there. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you for time. I will, uh, I'll email you a card I don't, okay. so I don't have to come back in through the security checkpoints and all that. But okay. Thank you. Yep. How do you guys like that? We took that unconstitutional sign with us. We got it removed from the clerk's office. Have a good one. Now, the other county building is literally across the street this way. We're going to have over there now.
Lest we forget the Cortland County men and women or children who served in the World War monument right there. And this county executive building and that across the way. Um, it's a victory for the Constitution today. We definitely took an unconstitutional sign down, brought it to their attention, and might have redesigned their new office coming up. So that's a huge plus. <laughs> There. Gotta warn you guys, bringing some weapons of mass accountability in here. Oh. This your camera. <laughs> Where are you headed? Um, all the publicly accessible areas to video report what's available for the public. Okay. Well, it's getting pretty much towards the end of the day. I'm not. Some of the stuff's probably going to be shutting up. Your first name? Uh, Dan. Last name Dan? Erie County. Go ahead and put your medals here. Obviously this stuff we can see, so. There's no weapons involved there. Just that weapon of mass accountability. <laughs> That's all right. Let's go ahead and see what we got. We got the director right here. Hello? Um, this office, what, what goes on in here? I can't see you. What goes Hi. on in here? Are you recording? Yeah. I don't want to be recorded, please. Um, what, what goes on in this office? Though? I don't want to be recorded, please. But you're a public servant. It's a constitutionally protected activity. This is what? A constitutionally protected activity. I just, I just want to know see, what goes on in this office. We have stuff that states we don't need to be recorded in these areas. These what, are it, public what is this areas. office? This is reception overflow. Reception over for right, so you can't record in reception, you can't record over here either. For well, anywhere the public's privacy. allowed, okay. One second, sir. I was just asking what was going on in there, there's not much going on in there. She's got an issue. A reception overflow. She's got an issue about me recording and reception she's overflow. She's not a receptionist. She yeah, she's right part of the SS says That's the reception the overflow is part of the Social Security? That's Social Security, Social Services. Social Services. Social Services. Welfare Department. Um, it's we here. Social Security here. No, I, I didn't think so. I, I don't know. I thought you weren't allowed to videotape unless you had reason to be in the building for some type of I have official business and that's taking photos. No, he can he can record any area that is, is publicly accessible. Publicly accessible. Um, the areas that he cannot are the secure locations, the areas where you would take clients or office in the aging where they're actually discussing and going through stuff. But all the main departments are open and available to the public. So you're more than welcome to record in those areas. Yeah, as long as I'm not catching anybody's personal information. Personal information. So part of this, that's a reception up there, but you also have on the other side of the wall is people that are having issues and, and receiving benefits or that sort of thing. You can't, you can't record them. But you can record us all you want. Yeah. Yeah, anywhere the public's allowed. Yeah. The public and the press have the same rights because the First Amendment grants everybody freedom of the press. So if the public's allowed there, we're allowed to run a camera. The reason why is not behind the secure door is because she has Hi. How you doing? Pretty good. I'm just down here to get some photographs of the office, what pamphlets are available, and the, like the pamphlet room, and what the layout of the office. That's all. Where was you from? What's that? Are you from the building? Yeah, I've come to the building. Yeah. What's that? I, I'm an independent journalist. Okay. I, I'm freelance. Yeah. Okay. But I don't need any help. I just grab some photos of in here. 
No, I don't need any help. And you're with what agency? Uh, I'm independent. You're into, what's your name? Oh, my name's Dan. I'm an independent name? journalist. Um, just here to collect some public information, show what's available, what the office looks like. Okay. Your name is? My name is Cindy. Cindy. Dan Patton. All right. And you so. are? Oh, that's just your name on there. Yeah. No, I don't need any help. I don't just here to take some photographs of the office, what's available and stuff. Okay. We typically like to have folks have appointments, but... Yeah, I don't need to talk to anybody, so... Okay. So all the pamphlets here. The sheriff's department already knows the rules, and they're aware of well, well aware. Oh yeah, we're in for a good time here. Excuse me, can I help you? No, I don't need help. Excuse me? I don't need help. Oh no, I said I didn't need any help. Um, well, who, who are you? Where are you from? What are you doing? Oh, I'm the director here. The director of the building? Of this whole agency here. Of aging? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just uh, Here's my card. independent journalist and uh, collecting public interest and disseminating it to the public. So um, I'm just working on a story on the, oh, for the, the county newspaper? building. Yes. Um, not for a newspaper, okay, but. Okay, the director Privacy camera cell phone or recording loud. Well, is there a penal code behind that? Is there a law? Or? I, I don't I, I don't know. Yeah, this is probably a county government type of thing. I'm not no, sure. anywhere the public's allowed, we're allowed to run a camera. Anywhere the public is freely allowed to go, like the publicly accessible areas. So I'm just taking photographs this is of the public. This would be public, yeah. yeah. And like the waiting room area of the Office of Aging, like in the front hall there before you cross into any offices or into any um, you know restricted right, areas. The offices, yeah. the, like public areas. Like if the door is open, like this door on this boiler room is open, I'm not allowed to walk in there, but oh, the door is open. Okay. I can take a picture in there because I could yeah, yeah. video record anything I could see from public. But <laughs> I was in the office of aging there. I took pictures of all the pamphlets so that you know if somebody's yeah, seen yeah, it, they'd yeah. be able to know what's there, oh, okay. what's available. All right, like well, they didn't, staff didn't know what was going on, so I thought we'd better... Yeah, I try to explain it to the best I can, but I don't, you know, I'm just... Grabbing photos, I'd be in and out, and that, that's it. Okay. No big deal. Huh. Um, can we see what you have or post or whatever? I mean, I'm not sure. Where yeah, I got you. I got your um, my card. Your card, I'll get email to you when okay. it goes out. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. That was easy to dispel. Like I said, fam, this is a lot of hallway, and you could definitely get lost in this place. It's kind of crazy how it's set up. This is another one of those situations where you see open business hours to this office yet an employees only sign. It's almost wondering like did they just put these signs up for me because they knew we were coming. It's kind of confusing so I went ahead and knocked on this door and got a very rude response. I wonder if they're putting all these signs up and hiding in the offices because they know we're here. Who is that? I was um, a member of the public looking to see if there's any publicly accessible areas in this office. Excuse me, that's the appointment, you're not allowed in. 
The public's not allowed in there? So, I don't know if they're doing this because we're here and people are normally allowed here. It says you guys are open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. You guys got no public information in there? to this office here. How you doing? All right. What are you looking for? I was just seeing if there's any public information available about what goes on in that office there. It says that it's open from uh, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., but they won't open the door or answer the door or even. What do you do here? I'm I'm part of buildings and grounds. Buildings and grounds. There's nobody in here in buildings and grounds. There's no publicly accessible areas in there. Well, there's. Uh, I always want to make sure they're not just putting a sign out like no, employees out only. Of, or, they're out of the office right now. There's people right. talking through the door. Oh, is there? Yeah. <laughs> Did you knock? Yeah, I knocked. I don't. They're saying that you need an appointment, but it says the office is open. Where are you from? Um, I'm from around here. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I don't know. They won't answer. They won't answer, I guess. I'm done for the day, so. Can I get your name? Uh, I don't know what you're after here. So. Just your name. You tell me what you do here. You work, you work for the public, right? What, you, what, are you, what are you doing? You work for the public? I work for the county. Yeah, so you work for the public. The public pays the county, right? Yeah, I guess so. That's okay, how it works. You, you don't have a name? Yeah, I do. Can I have it? No. Oof. This is not looking good here, guys. And that office is closed off to the public? It says open public hours of uh, 8 a.m. To, to 4 p.m. It says open on the plaque on the wall, and you guys hung a paper sign. That sign's been up for a while. Yeah, I know, but there's a plastic sign that says it's open, that office. Do you have a name, sir? Gosh, this is one of the most unfriendly, unpleasant county meetings I've been to so far. <laughs> How you doing? You work here? Very unfriendly in this building. Extremely unfriendly. How you doing? Good, how are you? Um, I don't actually need any help. I'm just down here to raid your candy dish and uh, take some photographs of the office for a story I'm working on. Okay. Yeah, so I don't need anything. Go back to wherever you're doing. Let's take a few photos and I'll be out of here. All right, thank you. Got the nutcracker over here in red, white, and blue. How you doing? You're probably one of the more friendly people around here. Everybody around here don't seem to want to talk or say their name or open. They got an office that say they're open, but they close the door on me. And <laughs> um, but you guys are pretty pretty friendly compared to the rest of the building so far. Good. Tell everybody that. I like you guys. Can I get your name? <laughs> Judy. Judy. Yes. And your name is? Wendy. Wendy. It was nice to meet you guys. My name's Dan. Look at this. You smile. Pass it on. You gotta spread the word in this building. It was given to us by a taxpayer. Yeah? Oh, you guys have a nice day. I got everything I need here.
is like a maze. How you doing? Get that public candy. Everybody in here? I don't know if anybody's even in this office. Doesn't seem to be anybody in here. Very inviting looking place, that's for sure. There's a public information. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was in this office alone for a second there. Uh, my name's Dan. Uh -huh. I'm down here working on a story in the county building. Just grabbed some photographs of the public accessible areas. I just hollered, and, hey, is anybody in here? Nobody answered. Uh -huh. <laughs> it must be. Stepped out, for a stepped out for a second. But no, I'll just grab some photos in here, and okay. I don't actually need any help. Okay. Unless you want to say what you guys do down here, or give a little. Mm, it's a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. You know, we work with nutrition, 4 H youth, and and our agricultural with our beef and dairy and small animals. We're getting ready for fair next week. Nice. So. All right. Well, I'll let you get back to work. <laughs> and thank you. There's somebody in the back office. Must be on the headphone or something, didn't hear us. How you doing? Yeah. Uh, my name is Dan. I'm an independent journalist. I'm just down here to get some photographs of the publicly accessible areas. Um, just like, what, here? I don't know that you can take them in here. There is a sign on our... There's an awful lot of no recording signs in this place, fam. Yeah, there's an awful lot of no recording signs, and I got, you know, you guys are trying to protect people's personal information. I see there's nobody in here, yeah. but, um, yeah, there's an awful lot of no recording signs around here. Yeah. But I'd be where the public is allowed, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, okay. the press is allowed, and, you know, given that courtrooms have rulings. But, no, I'll just get a couple photos in here and be on my way. Sure. I think I knocked on your door over there a second oh, ago. Oh, did you? And okay. I, I looked at it, I'm like, oh, it looks like this door might be bolted shut. Oh. <laughs> uh, I didn't see nothing on the door saying what it was. Yeah. Can I ask your name? My name is Debbie. Debbie? My name's Dan. Hi. It was nice to meet you. That's not bad. I just oh, got Hi. How you guys doing? Um, I'm just down here to raid the public candy. <laughs> no, I'm down here to get some photographs for the... Uh, story I'm working on in the county building okay. of the publicly accessible areas. So I don't want to go anywhere. I'm not allowed to go. Okay. Uh, I'm just here to take some photographs of like the forms that are available, the layout, yeah. and talk to some nice people. Okay. Can I get your name? My name's Adrian. Adrian, my name's Dan. Hi, Dan. So I'll just take a couple photos to be on my way. Yep.
How you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Help you with something? No, I don't really need as much as I need help. I'm just taking some tour of the building, taking photographs of the publicly accessible areas. I like that, creating privacy, the guy turned his photos. I like that. What are you doing? Uh, video recording in public. Do you have a badge to be up here? Is there, do you need a badge to be up here? You can't be up here video recording. Why not? This is not publicly accessible? Right. You? Am I being recorded right now? Yeah. Okay, let's go get my manager. There's a sign somewhere. What What are you recording for? Uh, I'm an independent journalist working on a story for public um, disclosure. Are you taking pictures? Yeah. Of what? Uh, anything I can see from public. Shoes must be worn at all times. Isn't it? It's funny you got to put a sign like that up around here, huh? Mm -hmm. I can hear it running. It's just not coming out. You don't have my permission to use my face. Can I have it? Absolutely not. Okay, well, I don't need it. Absolutely not. Uh, can you tell me your name? Nope. You want to tell me what you do here? Something I can help you with? Yeah, just, uh, do you know what goes on in this office? I know exactly what goes on in that office. What is that? It's uh, workers from DSS work in there. DSS? Department right. of Social Security Services. All right. Um, well, she told me to wait here. That I have to have a special badging to be up in this floor or something, but it seemed publicly accessible. And I was just trying to get to the bottom of uh, it. All. Not any of the secured areas. Which would be this behind, hallway. That, behind that doorway? Yep. This hallway is publicly accessible, though, right? Exactly. Yeah. But, um, oh, this lady was just kind of rude. Can I have your name, ma'am? Excuse me? Can I have your name? She just, I, she just blew in your name, but won't give out her name. It's public knowledge. <laughs> well, you, yeah, right? I know. That's what I'm saying. That's her name is public knowledge. I don't know why she's being rude. Well, it's her choice. Her choice to be rude as a public why employee? Are, why are you videotaping her? I'm going to FOIL request her name. That's what I'm going to do. You're going to what? FOIL request her name. Uh, then do it. We don't care. Can I get your name and what you do here? <laughs> you know what my name is. You just heard it. Well, other than James, you want to tell me what you do here? DSS. DSS as well? Man. Why are the people in this building so rude? I'm going to be honest, Erie County fam. I was pretty much just minding my business and this lady approached me to be rude on purpose, to not identify, and to treat the members of the public this way is pretty unacceptable. And if you think that's it, I was on my way out after the audit was completely finished on the street corner, I was actually talking on the phone, and this lady pulls up in her car and gives me the middle finger. This is the type of service you get from Cortland County so Department of Social Services. It makes you wonder exactly what kind of social services they provide for the public. Check this lady out giving the middle finger on the street. After all, oh, I was the one minding my business, not this lady. She not only went out of her way to act like this, she went out of her way to give that middle finger, fam. I got it. I truly pity the fact that the people of this county have to put up with this kind of service from their public servants let alone someone who needs help from their government and is going to use that social services man i'd hate to see this lady and how she treats the public for those who are in need now and if you think that's bad i'm gonna introduce you to the 
county administrator who's going to kind of defend these people and their signs that say no filming in the publicly accessible areas. Check it out, fam. How you doing? Hi, how are you? Pretty good. Uh, my name, my name's Dan. I'm just here working on a story on the county building okay. and the county itself. And uh, just taking a walk through some of the publicly accessible areas and getting photographs, what's available for the public for dissemination okay. as a journalist. Um, my name is Dan, by the way. Hi. And uh, I was actually interested in the county legislative chambers. Is it open, or is there any way we can get in there for some photos of that actual? I don't believe the chambers itself are open. Is there? Is I'm the administrator sure happen to be here? The legislator is down the hall. The legislator would be the one to be able to the get me in. The legislature. All right, I'll. Should uh, be the one to let you into that space. I'll ask. Okay. What, what was her name? Savannah. All right, your name was? My name is Wendy. Wendy, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Let's get a couple photographs in here. What is it that you do here? You're the secretary to the administrator? Yes. Some yes, of the people yes. in this building are very rude <laughs> and uh, disrespectful. Um, and like there's offices here, like the Office of Building and Grounds is Weights and Measures. It has open business hours on the doorway. Okay. And they got the door locked. They say appointment only, but it says the office is open. Weights and Measures? Yeah. There's only one person in that office. There's definitely someone in there. Like, I knocked on the door because the door was locked, but it said open till 4. That's and I knocked on the door. They just talked me through the doorway. They wouldn't open the door, dropped me, or addressed he, me, or nothing. He does work off site a lot. So there may not be. There was a female that was there. I don't you know, I just thought she was, oh, it was kind of rude. Right. There's a lot of other rude, like, I was just on the floor below this one, and some lady's like, you can't do that here. Hold on right here. And then she comes out, like, you don't have my permission to take my picture. And got out, and she wouldn't tell me her name or nothing. I mean, you guys are public employees. It's public record. You should guys, people here should at least be able to give out their name. Like, even a first name. But some of the employees here are pretty rude, public servants. But, um... So, as far as this is the county administrator, is there some, like, you're the secretary, right? Exactly. Is the administrator available or here or no? He is here, yes. Can I speak to him? Are you available for a minute? Hello. How you doing? My name's Dan. I'm an independent journalist. I'm just mm -hmm. going through the publicly accessible areas, not trying to go any restricted access areas, and take photographs of uh, you know all the offices, what's available, pamphlets, get right down to like the, the layout of the building. Like the other county building was a lot more extravagant than this one. Oh, but, yes, um, it is. I just wanted to mention about how uh, rude some of them, the public servants, are here. They won't you know identify themselves. They are rude. There's Places like build, building and grounds, weights and measures. It has on the doorway. It says open business hours between a certain time. They got the door locked, and I knocked on the door, and there's people in there, but they won't even like open the door to address me and say, "Hey, what's going on?" And a lot of the offices aren't open to the to the public, They're even though they got open business hours for county employees. Yes, like the open business hours are for county employees only on the signs. Basically, the for instance, buildings and grounds. All they do is work at our buildings and our grounds. They don't work for the public, per se. Okay, so they don't interact with the public. Uh, weights and measures, they do. Chances are they're not in because they're out no, of the No, they, they were definitely in. There was somebody talking through the door is what I'm saying. Well, I mean weights and measures. Weights and measures is just one person. Yeah. And he's probably out she, either. There's a woman in there. Oh, okay. So, uh, I just think it's you know inappropriate that the lady downstairs yelled at me for taking photographs in a publicly accessible area, told me I can't do it, I need badging to even be on that floor, which isn't true, and then she wouldn't give her name, and there's a lot of employees here. Um, this video is definitely going to probably get mailed to you when I, when I publish it, and you're going to see how some of the employees here are kind of rude. I don't know if that's something you want to address with some of the employees here. And public servants, they, they serve the public, and that's kind of I'm wrong sure, way to. I'm sure I'm going to be hearing about it. Yeah, in the next couple of days. I'm, and I know there's a. Uh, they get an email from one saying that they were in, they were at, in an interview with a client, and I mean we have HIPAA laws we have to contend with. We have all kinds of things that other yeah, laws but I, that we have. I'm to not trying besides, to go into any non-publicly accessible areas. Well, even if the door was open and there's no sign that says no recording or anything else. That doesn't mean it's a publicly accessible office. 
Okay. Have I gone in any restricted areas? I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm pretty good at yeah. looking at signs and seeing signs. No, like I said, I mean, and just because an office has sign, just because an office client. has a no filming sign, that doesn't make it lawful. If the public is allowed to freely walk into that office, open to the public, allow the video recording there, mm -hmm. we all have the freedom of the press, as, just as we have the freedom of speech. Right, yeah. and we also have the freedom of, uh, we have the right of privacy when it comes to health. Not, not health in publicly and accessible areas. He, well, when we're doing consultations with uh, clients. So your opinion is you'd like to defend the rude employees? I'm not defending the rude employees. No, they should not be rude regardless. Yeah. But I well, that's understand what I'm addressing. them getting upset if they were interviewing or consulting with somebody. Oh, no, I didn't interrupt okay. nobody. I mean, this okay. lady was walking down and the, in the hallway. Where, this lady was, where, most saying. of these people were in the hallway. Uh-huh. Then that shouldn't be... You know, if I if I went to an office, it didn't say, you know, employees only, and I mm -hmm. opened up the door, locked on the door, I asked, you know, is this a publicly accessible area? Yeah, you can come into here. Or, mm -hmm. You know, this is a publicly accessible. That's the only way I went in, but... Yeah, I don't. I just want to bring it to your attention and mm -hmm. and ask you about it. But uh, okay, well, we'll be discussing this with. So I'm with, uh, sure you'll see all the sure. employees that were rude. But mm -hmm. um, the other one I was interested in is getting uh, into the county chambers, the legislative chambers, where they have the county meetings. Mm -hmm. um, is that something you can help me out with, or I, I talk to a legislator? I cannot. Uh, usually, that's locked up unless there's a, a meeting or the the clerk of legislature. She might is be there, in her office. She might be. I know she as good she leaves early some some days, especially right. now the school's out. I better get over there and see if she's there. She usually see if it's gets in about seven, seven thirty. But you morning. have no way to access that, that? I do not. All right. Thank you very much. I guess okay. that's all. No problem. Do you have a business card by chance? I don't. All right. And w w I'm With sure email you said and everything I'm else? sure you said your name once you say uh, that? Rob Corpora. All right, thank you very yeah. much. Long story short, same thing as the weights and measures. I knocked on the door. I can hear the people talking in there, laughing and joking. They played silent, and I knocked twice. At one point, somebody went from the inside of the clerk's office to the chambers, peeked at us out that window, went back in the office. They wouldn't answer the door or respond. It's just the service you get in Cortland County. We were close to that chambers, but we were not getting in it. She just walked out that. There's a door right here. She walked into the legislative chambers, looked through the window, and went back in there. What's the best way out of here? This way? Yeah, if you go... This place is a massive maze. It, it is, too. Are you a I public defender? I've a year and a half, and it's taken me uh, that amount of time. I'm an uh, investigator for okay. the public defender's office. All right. Yeah, this place is like a... Like a maze. It's almost like a parking garage. It looks like the first floor floors. It seems like you go up like this. And once you get to this level, you got the second floor and the third if floor. You think the first floor is the one you walk in on, but that's really the basement. This is the first floor. So it is. If you go down here and then down those steps, take a right, go right out. Gotcha. And your name was? Michael Bidwell. Michael. My name's Dan. I'm just an independent journalist. I'm working on a story on the building and uh, doing a little private investigating myself okay. as far as like constitutional audit and. Uh, Oh, I gotta say, some of the employees in this building are rude as rude really? can be. Yeah, and I've been to a lot of county buildings. I gotta say, this is probably one of the rudest buildings I've ever been to. What What have you been dealing with? Um, like the second floor, I just had a lady tell me, "You can't do this. You can't have video record. You need a badging, a bad like a like a right. card to even be on the second floor." And then she's like, "You wait right here." She goes in this office, comes back out, and she's like, "You don't have my consent to take my picture." It's like, well. I mean, you're in public. I don't really need your consent. It's and a public building. I know. And then I asked her her name. She wouldn't give her name. Then she's like, some other guy comes by and she's like, she calls out his name. I mean, sir, don't give him my name. And it's just like, she just threw you under the bus and gave your name. And she's not going to give her name. <laughs> but, wow. And then I'm, there's just, I'm shocked. there's other offices. What was their, uh, do you know what departments they were in? I want to say 
TSR. TSR. Well, that might explain a lot of it because <laughs> they, they get they get crushed by the public, you know, in and out and stuff, and they're all moody all the time. But we get the same stuff. <laughs> right. Know? Yeah. We're crushed every time too. But our office is always friendly with people. But I've never had such a bad experience in a county building. That's hard. I mean, I've been hand thrown out of county buildings by police, but like, <laughs> I'd almost rather have that than people just be rude consistently. Right. Like, um, weights and measures. There's a building down there. Weights and measures. The department down there. They got the sign. You know, it says business hours. Eight to four, mm -hmm. you know. And somebody's in the office. I can hear him talking. I knock, and the door's locked. I was like, "Hey, I'd, I'd like to come in and just get some photographs." Did of you the go public through security? Board. Yeah. And mm -hmm. did they ask nature of your business? Yeah, I told them I was like taking a tour. I mean, like, you know, the, if there was an issue, that's oh where yeah, it would you stopped. would you would think it would have stopped yeah. there. And you know, even there was a DSH or DSS DSS yeah. employee that was downstairs, and she had a fit about it and she went and told them and I walked over there with them and they're like yeah he's, he's good you know what I mean like right. you know United States Constitution grants everybody the freedom of the press right. well, you don't even have to be a citizen had, to have uh, that you know? it, we've had issues you know here and there with people that we did not want in the building that were problematic yeah okay not such as yourself yeah I'm pretty someone, polite and cordial I, you know I no know. just somebody like um, somebody that I is see a, a lot of signs that say loitering in the halls you know, when we have somebody that's blowing up and yelling and screaming and then they're asking where video cameras are and stuff in the building you know and they're they're a threat and I've gone down before and said listen can you can you make sure this person doesn't come in anymore the ladies are really scared of them and they go we can't it's a public building right you know, so I don't think that a lot of people in this building get the fact that what they means by being a public servant and working for the public. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it is a public building and the public owns this place. And at the end of the day, you know, the public is everybody in here's boss because right. you guys work for them. But like, man, we may not be your direct supervisors, but, right. but you know, just but the way yeah, it the treats way it some of the people around here. The way to me is that it's a public building, right. you know, like a library. You know, um, yeah. so what, to, what is the story that you're actually writing? My my story is a civil rights investigation civil rights okay. you know like for instance the lady upstairs tell me you can't be here you can't video record you can't take my picture now if they threw me out they failed the civil rights investigation because my civil rights i have the 14th amendment right, right to f equal access to this building mm -hmm. my first amendment the right to video record mm -hmm. and uh, my fourth amendment right i also practice that because i don't you know necessarily get my identity out Right. Like you I keep do let secret. people know you're recording, though, when you talk to them. I mean, I'm trying to make it obvious with as many cameras. The only... Because she would really like that one. The, the only um, the objection that I would see is if someone didn't announce that they were audio recording. That would be the only thing I could see somebody getting up. When I walked up to you, do you have any doubt that I was video recording you? Um, I see a red light, but I would think that that was probably off, but... I'm not opposed to talking yeah. with you at all. Like the First Amendment grants the right to video record in public space. Um, somebody in public, such as we're in public, you have no right to expectation of privacy. Right. And uh, it's also constitutionally protected activity to video record your public servants in the course of their duties. Gotcha. So like someone who gets bent about it, I mean, right. when you signed up to take that public official job, right. you gave consent. And you have to, people have to understand that. So, like, what I do is, uh, and what I'm doing is a First Amendment audit. So, I'm auditing the government today to make sure, and I'm on my way out, so I don't mind telling you. But right. I no, usually no. don't even tell people that much because, right. you know, I, I okay. try to keep it as limited as possible. But, you know, like, exercising this right to record in public and exercising the right to video record is like a muscle, you know. Rights are like muscles. If you don't use them, you might lose them. And a lot of people might not know that I have the right to record. I'm like, that lady, you don't have the right to use my picture or my image. Like, well, I don't need your image. As a matter of fact, James gave me the permission. And people would be like, who's James? I'd be like, James Madison. You ever heard of him? I got my, got my pocket constitution right here. That's my press pass. So, you know, I just, and like I said, I've been to a lot of county buildings. Um, I've probably been to half of them in the state already. Right. And I'm just working my way across the New York State at this time, but this is probably one of the rudest yeah. you public employees. Yeah, no, I'm sorry to hear But I mean, that. some of them are super pleasant. Some of them are very super yeah, pleasant. I'm like, you, you're that. pretty pleasant. Um, yeah. No. I even was up at the administrator's office and tried to mention it to him, and he's trying to, it's almost like he was defending them. Like, you know, like I, I'm not, you know, trying to be rude. I'm not. It's, he didn't get his picturesque side. <laughs> It's probably, my, my guess would be, is that when someone is coming around with a camera, they get intimidated because 
a lot of us can't speak like us. We can't speak about the casework and things that we're doing. So they might be intimidated by the camera itself, especially if someone doesn't announce what they're doing. Um, you know, it's not maybe you, that you're wrong, it's that you just haven't announced what you're doing so they become intimidated by the camera wondering yeah, I mean, what it is. as soon as I walk in and someone says, can I help you? I'm like, no, I'm just a journalist working on a story, take some pictures of the public assessor, I don't need any help. Right. I'll just take my photos and I'll be out. You know, and that, right. that, I, do, I do try to dispel that for sure. A little bit. But, it, uh, it would be more the, the part of them just being probably intimidated by not you know, like You're walking down the hall, it's like, yeah. what are you doing? I'm <laughs> yeah, like, right. taking photos in public. Right. right. That you can't, you can't do that. It's like, how do you know that? Where, yeah. where is that? Is that a rule? Is that a law? Where would you hear that? Who told you that? If that's incorrect. But, you know, that's why I'm here to educate. Well, really. sorry that you were treated harshly. No human yeah. being should be treated harshly. No, but you it was know. nice talking to you. Yes, you too. And to again, you just go right down here, take the next one down, and immediately to your right. Thank you. So the grand finale question is, how many phone calls did you guys get about me photographing in public down here? No? Boy, I tell you, this is, uh, I've been to a lot of county buildings. This has got some of the rudest employees I've ever met in my, my career of, you know, filming in a county building. Boy, oh boy, you're a county fan. That. Is one mess of a county building. Some of the rudest county building I've ever been to, for sure. That is Cortland County here in Cortland, New York, and uh, I'll see you guys in the comment section. Wow, what a what a building! What what a set of employees, guys. That's all I can say. We live in a society now where people want to record how they discipline their child. People that might get mad with this video is the people that probably already embarrassed their child. You can't you can discipline your child in their room. Take something away from them. If they act up, well, I'm like, son, you can't play the game. Oh, wow. Wow. Cortland County. Smack the shit out of it. Greatest night in the history of television. Dude, you pull the constitution out of your pockets in here. Like that was supposed to prove something. First Amendment, freedom it's of the press. Your name is not Dan Erie County. Um, this isn't Erie County. Yeah. Sure it is. I'm here as Dan Erie County. Legitimate? Maybe. Official? No.